Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. How's everyone doing today? To my beautiful subscribers, welcome. Uh, if this is your first time joining my channel, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification button. Yes, when I'm coming with the latest videos, you will be uh, notified. How is everyone doing today? Um, thank you all for booking your personal readings with me. Uh, if you are seeking a personal reading, go ahead and check that out at my website uh, at www.livinginpersonal.style. Okay, this reading is for Aries. Ooh, um, Aries, when I was pulling on um, doing a pre-shuffle and meditation um, on your reading, um, I was getting a lot of reverse healing energy, um, taking time to breathe out is what some of y'all need to do. All right. So my guardians, my angels uh, of the white light, we're going to pull some messages here. I ask that you give me clear, honest messages for my Aries. Yes. Fire sign. Aries is who we're working with today. I'm going to be pulling from the Moonology deck uh, to get uh, six messages out from them. From this card, them, the moon goddesses, yeah. And then I'm going to use, um, I'll just clarify as I go along. Okay, I'll go with my intuition, but Spirit wants me to start off with the messages, all right? So let's get the screen down so you guys can see what's going on. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. All right, let's get started. My Aries. Oh, if I can get this frame stopped. All right, there we go. All right, let's get six messages out here from my Aries. Give me clear, honest moonology messages. Um, I, I will be using my um, chakra wisdom cards to clarify, uh, give the healing messages. Okay, I'm going to take those. It's four of them. It says right here, it is time to release negativity, Scorpio energy, and that came in the reverse. Okay. It says the answers you need are coming. You could be dealing with a Gemini, uh, my Aries, okay? That's in the upright. It says a new start is coming. Uh, this is in the reverse, okay? And communication is key. So, and this is in Gemini. This is a lover's energy, okay? So now I know I'm going to pull from the Romance Oracle. Um, wow. Wow. So maybe you guys are in a relationship and there's no new beginnings out here with a new start in the reverse or, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up more because there's, there's a lot of Gemini energy out here. It's the lover's energy. So I'm picking up more like um, this is a relationship. It's time to release the negativity. Um, like I was saying in the earlier, uh, previous uh, meditative uh, uh, shuffle, I seen a lot of healing energy that needs to take place. Um, let's see what else. Confidence is your key. New moon in Leo. Okay. And meditate and contemplate. So, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like this is like a, um, a relationship situation here. Um, you need to release this negativity. Yeah, release it. Because um, once you release it and start meditating and contemplating on it, whatever you need, uh, you will have these answers that you're seeking, my Aries. Okay. Um, and you need to have confidence in it. So if you release it, you're not seeing anything. Uh, you're not. You're still in this negative energy, right? It's time to release. And for some of y'all, um, y'all have released in the reverse is what I'm hearing. Okay. If it was in the upright, that means you haven't. But I feel like for some of y'all, y'all have, and y'all some of y'all haven't. Okay. You're not seeing these new starts coming. Okay. Because there's lack of communication here. Lack of communication going on here, Aries. Uh, with this lover, with your partner. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo here. Um, you know, Leos can be a little uh, stubborn. You know, they have that little, that dominance where they, they just, they don't like to be contained. That that fire sign don't like to be contained, right? Or maybe this is you in this Leo energy, my Aries, and you need to just kind of like stop what you're doing for a minute, okay? Get some clear communication out here because communication is the key and that's in the reverse. So whoever you're trying to work this situation out with, um, they're not hearing it right now. You're not seeing this new start with this person right now, okay? This new beginning. But if you fall back, okay, and release the negativity in which some of y'all have, um, and, and you would get into this, get the answers that you're seeking, okay? 
All right, let's go ahead and clarify some of these out here. I'm going to use... I'm going to use the um, mm, Romance Oracle. Okay, Roman Angel. Romance Angel, this, this Mercury Retrograde got me going, y'all. I hope you guys are doing well. And giving yourself this self-love, Aries. Okay, let's clarify it's time to release this negativity. Let's see what is going on out here. Because whoever you're trying to communicate with, um, uh, this is definitely a lover situation with all this Gemini energy out here. Yeah, you're not seeing the new beginnings. And you need to meditate. You need to contemplate. You need to fall back and contemplate on this. Because whoever you're trying to work this issue out with, it is just not coming. I'm feeling like this is more like a, a relationship situation here. My angels, give me clear. Okay. Romantic feelings. You are feeling, your feelings are real and, and worth exploring in the reverse. So whatever this romantic energy that's going on is not happening. Um, you're expressing this to this person and uh, they're not hearing you. There's no, the, the communication out here is in reverse. Okay, but as far as I see, it's time to release because, you know, oh, see, let it go. Fell on the floor. These romantic feelings are not being heard. They're not being felt by whoever you're trying to express it to. And you're not paying attention. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, you need to fall back, Aries. You need to fall back. You're not paying attention. You need to get into this meditative state right here so you can see the red flags because right now you're not seeing any new beginnings, okay? There's no new beginnings here. There's lack of communication here, okay? Um, I'm feeling like it's a little volatile out here, a little arguments out here. And yeah, and if you did, if you fall back on this meditation and pay attention to red flags, you'll see the answers that you need, okay? You'll see that, okay? Let's clarify some more. So it's time to let go of this negative energy that you're in, this scorpionic energy. Um, scorpionic energy is all about endings, right? Um, and this is this is this purple represents your crown chakra. Um, this is all about being in your head, being frustrated. Yeah, being a little stingy out here, pushing out that Scorpio tail out here, giving them this dagger. Um, and you need to fall back because. There's something here that you're not seeing. You're not paying attention to these red flags, Aries. You need to fall back. You need to fall back because there's lack of communication here. And because of there's lack of communication right here, you're not getting these answers that you're seeking. Okay? So let's clarify the answer you need. Clarify the answer you need. What is it that is my Aries are seeking? What is the answer they are seeking? What is the answer they are looking for? Clarify this. Yeah, I feel like... If you just fell back and get in this meditative start, you can have a new start. But it's in the reverse here. And you need to have the confidence. I feel like you need to have the confidence in letting this romantic relationship go um, because you're expressing it, but it's not being heard. Okay, so that's not being heard. And you need to fall back. You could be dealing with a, um, a, 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 a Pisces out here. Doesn't have to be, but you could be dealing with a Pisces. Or this per person that you're dealing with is in, is in this Pisces energy or in the uh, have it in the chart. Or you have this in your chart, okay? Let's clarify the answers that my Aries are seeking from this from this lover situation. Yeah, that Gemini en energy represents lovers, okay? Let's clarify this. Give me some clear, honest romance angels answers out here. Not picking. Let's clarify this. Yeah. Um, oh. You deserve love. You're not seeing this for yourself, Aries. Or this person is feeling like um, you feel. Yeah, you. I feel like this is you, my Aries. You deserve love. Okay, and y'all are not. Y'all, y'all are trying to get this answer within this relationship, but there's no communication here. Okay, there's no communication here, and you need to realize that you deserve love you need to let go of this negativity yeah let it go because the romantic feelings that you're expecting from this person or this person is expecting from you it's not happening you need to see the red flags and fall back and let go of the negativity some of y'all have and you realize that you do deserve love and so you're falling back and you're getting into this meditative state right here okay 
You're realizing that this this energy that you're trying to um, give to this person or to communicate to this person, they're not hearing it. So now some of y'all have just decided, you know what, I'm going to gain my own confidence right here. I'm going to get into my meditative state, start um, mind right here and start loving me because I deserve love. I'm tired of feeling like this reverse, this reverse energy from this person. And then and they're not even, you need to see the red flags and know that you deserve this love as well is what I'm hearing. Okay. Because you're not getting anywhere with this person. Yeah. The answers you need is not coming. So you need to get into this energy of loving yourself, Aries. Let it go. Let it go. It's time to release the negativity. And for some of y'all, y'all have, okay. I'm, I'm reading it how the spirit guys want me to read it. All right. Yeah, these romantic feelings is not coming to fruition. This new start that you're seeking is not coming with this person. It's all in the reverse, okay? Or either you, they want this from you and you don't want it with them. But I feel like this is more like you, my Aries. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you deserve love out here. And this is the answer. This is what you need to tap into. You need to know that the answer that you're really truly seeking is not from this person that you're trying to um, get these romantic feelings from. No. It's really the confidence in yourself, okay? Gaining that confidence. Get into that meditative mind of yourself and expressing it. You need to express this. Because this blue, this shade of blue um, as Pisces is not only just a Pisces energy out here, but the shade of blue also represents your throat chakra. And you're, express, you're trying to express this to this person, okay? It's all in the reverse, all right, this communication right here is just representing this throat chakra. And when you're in this throat chakra right here, this is all about communication, willpower, willpower, um, truthfulness, setting boundaries and expressions. Yeah, but this person is not, yeah, there's no boundaries here. You're trying to yell and scream and yell and fight with this person and they're not listening to this. You're, oh, you're expressing yourself in a very volatile, vocal way or this person is doing it to you, Aries. There's no answers out here. Yeah, you need to get into this meditative state and get confident and know that you deserve this love that you are seeking. Okay, the answer that you want is it's in reverse. You're not getting that. Yeah, you're communicating it to this person, but they're not hearing you. Okay, you got to let go. Let go of the negativity. Clarify this new start. Oh, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy. Yeah. You're opening your heart to this person. You're expressing this to them. Okay? You're expressing this to them. And you and you're not you're not getting this new start. You want them to be in this energy with you or they want you to be in this energy with them, but there's no new beginnings out here. You don't see this new beginning out here. No. They want you to retreat with them or you want to retreat with them. Okay? You're feeling like it's okay, we should work on this. You're trying to communicate that to this person, but they're not hearing you. They are not hearing you. It's all in the reverse. They don't want to talk or you don't want to talk. They want you to know it's safe for you to love them. Um, it's okay. Can we get back in this retreat mode? But no, everything right here is in the reverse. Okay? It's in the reverse. Yeah. Let's clarify this confidence is key. New love. Okay. So if you, if you, some of y'all, Yeah, I'm feeling like this new love, a new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. Okay, I feel like this is y'all need to just, I'm taking this more as a self-love. Okay, or whoever this new person is that y'all y'all are, are this, I don't feel like this is a new person. I feel like this is a, a relationship that y'all been in for uh, for years and you're trying to renew this love. You're trying to have the confidence um, to let make this new love, to renew this love and feeling like this, um, you want it to be successful, but it's not happening out here. No, it's not because you need to, you need to meditate this love on yourself, Aries. Okay. You're trying to put this energy into bringing back this new love, um, rebuilding this new energy, but it's, it's not happening. You need to get in this meditative state. Some of y'all are really going hard, um, and putting your all into trying to get this, um, to build back this new relationship, to rekindle this energy. Yeah. Yeah. So let's clarify this communication is key in reverse. Yeah. Like I said, y'all could be, um, dealing with a Leo out here. Aries, or you could deal with a Gemini, also a Cancer, I'm hearing, or a Scorpio. Okay, let's clarify this communication. is key in reverse. Yeah, this person, you need to realize that you deserve love. They don't, they don't see, they don't see, they don't see this 
this new love with you or you don't see this with them. Yeah. Either you're trying to, you need to pay attention to these red flags and let go of this negative energy, my Aries, or whoever this person is that's trying to hold on to you. You're not having any of these romantic feelings with them. Um, yeah. And some of y'all have released. Okay. Some of y'all have released this negative energy because it's in the reverse. And some of y'all still need to let go of this negative energy because you... Romantic feelings out here is not being heard by this person or you're not feeling this romantic vibe with them anymore. Yeah, and you y'all need to pay attention to these red flags. Okay? Because everything yeah, pay attention to the red flags. Communication out here is all volatile. Yeah, there's a lot of um a lot of overthinking, a lot of throat chakra any energy out here trying to express it, trying to get this person, okay. Stay optimistic, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. See? reverse let it go let it go Aries because you're holding on to this energy and this person is not doing this with you you need to gain the confidence and a new love within yourself okay y'all need to gain the confidence and a new love in yourself or this is the person that is um you're starting to pay attention to the red flags and since you started paying attention to the red flags some of y'all released this energy some of y'all We'll get these cards up. Some of y'all did release this energy and put it in the reverse, letting go this negative energy. Yeah, because you realize your romantic feelings were taken for granted. Your love was being taken for granted. Okay, Aries? And some of y'all are still holding on and need to release this and pay attention to the red flags because um, the answer that you really need to see is that you deserve love. Okay? You deserve love, all right? And this person that you're trying to stay optimistic with or who wants you to stay optimistic with them, take it how it resonates. Who the cat fits, let them wear it, okay? Don't leave negative comments, comments on here because what you put out is what you're going to get back, all right? I'm all about that love, baby, especially that self-love, promoting it. So th this, 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 this optimism out here and this communication out here that you're trying to have, um, this green represents the heart chakra. Okay, so I, I really definitely take this as a romantic energy out here, a family dynamic situation. Yeah, this person don't want this or you don't want this. You're not feeling optimistic with this person anymore. You're blocking the communication out here with them or they're blocking you. Okay, take it out, resonates. All right, let's clarify this, meditate and contemplate. I feel like y'all need to just get into this energy of getting to this hermit mode, meditate and contemplate and just hold your own and loving yourself and see that you deserve that. And some of y'all are still in that reverse energy trying to let this person see y'all for who y'all are, but y'all are not paying attention to the red flags out here. You're not paying attention. Even though you know that this person, you're not in this retreat energy, okay, with this person anymore. You, you don't want to do this new beginning with them anymore. Some of y'all are closed off. Some of y'all close y'all heart off from new love is what I'm hearing as well. Okay. And Spirit is letting you know it is safe to love you. Okay. Retreat with yourself. Get into this retreat mode with yourselves because you deserve love. Okay. You need to see that you deserve it. Okay. And some of y'all have seen that you deserve it. And like I said, you put this romantic energy in reverse. Yes, you did. Some of y'all have. Y'all seen the red flags and y'all put this love energy in reverse, okay? You've seen the red flags. You realize that your romantic feelings and your emotions, your heart, everything was taken for granted. And you're like, you know what? I'm no longer holding on to this. I, I don't want to hold on to this. And some of y'all do need to let go because you're not releasing it, okay? And some of y'all have, okay? You need to see that you deserve love, Aries. That's the answer you're seeking. The answer that you are seeking is that you deserve love you okay and this is this um that 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 blue throat chakra you could be dealing like i said with a gemini out here and you express this to this person that i deserve love and i no longer want to do this with you i'm moving forward yeah you block them you block them no communication out here with them that heart chakra you're not optimistic about this love life anymore you block them you're not talking to them yeah because you realize out here that retreating with them and trying to be um, in this love safe energy with them, there was no new start with them. And some of y'all did release this and it's okay to um to start loving yourself again, to start accepting love again, okay? Somebody, I'm hearing somebody new wants y'all to retreat with them, right? But y'all are not open to this new love. Y'all don't want to do this right now. Or this old person that y'all letting go of, you're not seeing a new start with them anymore, all right? Yeah, yeah. This could be y'all actually, like I said, some of y'all need to get into this love energy with yourself, okay? And this is also, like I said, 
it's safe to love because this new person wants to come in. Okay? This new person wants to come in. But for you, 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 you're you not feeling like you have a new start. Your heart is still broken. Okay? Yeah. But it's okay. You deserve that love. Keep moving. All right. On next, let's clarify this meditate and contemplate. It's all about self-love, honey. I will always promote self-love. It's first and foremost before you could give it to anybody else. Okay? All right. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. This person is not seeing you for who you want them to see you for. Mm -hmm. Or you're not seeing them um, for what they want you to see them as. And they know, ooh, let clarify this. Meditate and contemplate. I feel like y'all need to get into this energy right here. Um, get into your hermit mode. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Ooh, Aries. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's see what we got here. Worth waiting for very soon. It says divine timing is working in your love life, Okay. If you meditate, let go of this issue, things will probably come to the way you really want it. But stop trying to control it. It says very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you, okay? Y'all need to get into this energy right here of loving yourself. Start paying attention to this red flags, okay? Get into the meditative state right here. Because a lot of y'all have seen the red flags and still trying to keep this relationship together, you're still trying to make it seem like it's okay to still love this person and want to retreat with this person, but you're not having these new starts. And some of y'all are holding on to a past hurt and there's a new love that wants to come in, okay? And the spirit guides are letting you know, clearly decide what you want out here, okay? What, what, what are you waiting for? You know, whatever this new love is that you're trying to start, start it with yourself, okay? Or this new person want to give you this new love, but you're still stuck over here in the past energy, for some of y'all, okay? And some of y'all have released this person because you realize that your romantic feelings wasn't being reciprocated, okay? Yeah, so you're moved on, you're closed off, and they want you to know, Spirit wants you to know it's safe to love. And some of y'all are trying to make it seem like it's still safe to love this person, but there is still no new beginnings. You can't see it out here, okay? So take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. So when it comes to this new love, also, I'm taking this new love as you, pouring this new love into yourself, okay? Um, very soon, you need to decide what you want to do with this relationship. You need to get into this meditative state, seeing this for what it is, uh, and focus on that, okay? Because you're blocking this person, or this person is blocking you. Take it how it resonates, okay? Very soon, you need to decide, because there's the red flags out here that you need to pay attention to. And then because you're not paying attention to them, yeah, you're not releasing it this negative energy with this person, okay? You're not getting these new beginnings that you're seeking with this person or this person is not getting it with you, okay? Take it how it resonates, all right? All right, let's get some... Um, what do I want to use next, Spirit? Mm, mm -hmm. Y'all need to pay attention to this. Yeah, yeah. And some of y'all have retreated. You got into this meditative state, you decided I don't want this relationship anymore because I deserve love. Yeah, I got the answers I want. I got into this meditative state. I found my answer and I realized you don't love me. And I made my mind up. I'm out. Yeah. Y'all are blocking this person. Yeah. I'm wait waiting for time. Like I said, divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Some of y'all need to release this energy because new love wants to come in. The divine wants to guide, bless y'all with this new love. Okay. So you got to release this past energy. All right, let's clarify some more. What do we want to use, my guardians? Uh, writer, tarot. They always tell them the business, okay? We're going to pull some messages from this. And then I'm going to clarify with the wisdom, the chakra wisdom cards for the healing messages, okay? Can y'all see out here? Let me turn up the light. Can y'all see that out here? Oops. Okay, let's get this going. All right, my guardians, my angels. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's clarify this new start in reverse. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The page of swords fell out here. And this is about being open, new ideas, you know, um manifesting your ideas and coming into fruition. Yeah, so it's in the, it came in the reverse though. Like I said, there's arguments out here. Um you don't feel like it's, yeah, this person that you're you're arguing with out here, I told you there's a lot of arguments out here. You're not, you're not getting the communication you want. You're not getting this new start or this person is not getting this new start. 
Yeah, they you you want to I I feel like this is you Aries or the person you're dealing with. They want you to get into this retreat energy with them. They want you to feel safe to love them again. But yeah, you you're not feeling this way. You're not feeling this way. They're not feeling this way. You're not seeing the new beginnings with them right here. No. 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 This person is immature with their words. They say whatever comes to their mouth. Um Yeah. Yeah. There's no there's no new beginnings here. Let go. Get grounded. Y'all are not getting grounded. You're not focusing on your own ideas. For what you want to come together right here, it's not, it's not, it's in the reverse. Yeah, it's not happening out here. There's no new beginnings with this person that wants you to retreat with them or you want to retreat with them or start over this new love with them. Yeah, the confidence that you're seeking, you need to put that new love into you for some of y'all, or y'all need to open up and let go of the past and let this new love in. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's clarify. Ooh, let's clarify. You deserve love and the answer you are seeking. Okay, so let's clarify this right here. How far we've been in 26. You deserve love. Clarify this. You deserve love. Spread give me clear messages for you deserve love from my rider tarot. I did pre-shuffle my cards, but I like to shuffle again in front of my beautiful subscribers. If you would like a personal reading, go ahead and check out my website. All the information will be down in the description box. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This is about justice. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra out here. Um, yeah, you deserve love. Like I said, this is in the reverse. Some of y'all walked away. You, you got yourself out of this lack of trust with this relationship with this person. Um, feeling trapped in the situation right some of y'all did walk away from this because you realized you deserve this you took these swords out your back you brought in that justice you spoke your truth you let them know you expressed it you let them know this blue out here this throat shock you let them know like no i'm no longer doing this with you you know what i'm saying because i know i deserve love i seen the red flags out here yeah i seen the red flags out here okay and i saw them i realized you don't love me and it's time for me to release it for some of y'all right that's what some of y'all did. You definitely realize this person, all these romantic feelings you were putting in, it wasn't being receptive. And you decide no more. I'm not going to feel trapped in this situation with you no more. Okay? And some of y'all are still in this situation. So you need to release because um, y'all blocked this person out here. Yeah, you did. You blocked this communication out here. You're not in this um, Eight of Swords energy no more. You brought justice to the situation. I'm no longer feeling this heart chakra energy with you no more. Nope. No, I blocked all this. You see that throat, that blue throat shock. And that's all about the communication. I went deep in. I went deep into my meditation and my thoughts. Yeah. I went deep into my meditation and thoughts. And I realized. And I chose. And some of y'all still need to make this decision to walk away. Or this person wants you to make a decision to come back to them. Yeah, they want to keep you right here. But you're like, no, not anymore. I'm done. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm done. Or this is this person telling you that, Aries. That they're done, okay? They don't want this communication with you anymore? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're no longer being optimistic about this. Reversed. I'm not doing it. Okay? So that's the answers that you came here because you realize that I deserve me and I'm loving me and I deserve this new love that's coming my way. Yeah, and I'm being confident with it. Being confident, I'm walking away and I'm loving me, Okay? And some of y'all need to walk away. Still in this reverse trying to make this happen. All right? Because we got the page of swords out here. It's in the reverse with the new the new beginnings. It's, it's not happening out here. There's arguments out here. There's fighting. There's deception out here. Yeah. It's yeah. And they still want you to they still want you to believe that this is this is gonna happen. Yeah, but the new beginnings is to come. It's in reverse. They still want you to believe it's safe to love them. They still want you to stay in this relationship and retreat with them. Some of this is a, some of y'all that y'all are married to this person or was married to this person. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They want to rekindle this energy. Clarify this new love. Yeah. We have the five of cups out here. Okay. So there's, like I said, there's a lot of cups were um, feeling unfulfilled. Okay, longing for change, taking a deep breath, and here it is. Here it is. That this new love out here, feeling unfulfilled. You're not getting this new start for some of y'all. It's in the reverse. You're not feeling happy with this person. 
And y'all need to gain the confidence to move on from this and gain this new love for y'all self. Y'all, like I said, you see all this yellow out here, yellow, the cups, it's all about emotions. You could be dealing with a, a water sign, like I said, a, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, because Scorpio's out here. Um, it's time to release the negative energy. So this is a Scorpio you might need to release, or you um, this communication that you're blocking with this person. It could be a Gemini, it doesn't have to be, my Aries. Yeah, but you need to, you need to, yeah, you're, you're not feeling fulfilled with this person. OK, and you need to take a deeper look at it and pay attention to the red flags out here. Yeah, because you're not getting this new beginning that you're seeking or this person is seeking. OK, keep it moving. Build that confidence in yourself. Accept the new loves that's coming in because you're not even being fulfilled in this situation. OK, you're not even being fulfilled. No, you're not. All right, let's clarify this. Um, Stay optimistic in reverse. Yeah, you're not feeling this way. Yeah. Yeah, you're not seeing this person as a star. You're not feeling like a star. Yeah, you could be dealing with an Aquarius out here. Yeah, you're not feeling like a star with this person. You feel like, yeah, I, I don't I don't feel optimistic with you. I don't want to communicate with you. No, I'm over here pouring into my own self. I'm a star. I'm, I'm building up my um, confidence. Okay, I'm putting this new love into me. Yeah, because I was feeling unfulfilled over here with you. I'm, I'm not doing this energy with you anymore. I'm building up my confidence because I feel like I deserve love. Yes. I deserve love. I deserve love. I'm a star out here. And you're blocking this person. I don't I don't have this optimism with you anymore. Yeah, because I realize that you don't love me. I, I deserve love. Yeah, I'm blocking the communication. Okay, I found the answers that I was looking for because it came in the upright and I took these swords out my back and I, I, I called justice on this. Okay, I express myself. I'm blocking this person. No more being blinded. No more being hurt. No more unbalanced vibe. Okay, like I said, I heard some of y'all are divorcing this person. Yeah, you brought justice into this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> some of y'all need to let go and really see that you are the star. Y'all do need to let go and see that you are the star. Start gaining this confidence in yourself. Yeah. And this new love. Because over here, you're, you're being unfulfilled. You're not happy. Okay? Take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates, my beautiful people. Take it how it resonates. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you bossing up. You're realizing that, you know what? I got into this meditative state right here. Yeah. I'm meditating on my goals, my dreams, what I want, what I need to get done for me. Okay, because I'm blocking this energy. No more. No more optimism. I see it for what it is. I'm tapping into my wisdom, my knowledge. I'm intuitive. Some of y'all are very intuitive, fire signs. Aries, I'm sorry. Aries, you are very intuitive. You you got the star power out here with your intuition. Yeah. And there's somebody, somebody out here is like, why? Why are you meditating on this energy? I don't want you here, but you blocking this person. You're no longer doing this with them, but they want you to very soon clearly decide what you want with them. And you're like, excuse me? No. So Spirit is saying, but don't worry about it because we got somebody new out here for you, for some of y'all. Okay? And it's okay for you to love this new person. It's okay because you letting go of all the past stuff for some of y'all. And some of y'all still need to see the red flags and let go. Okay? Let go, love yourself, and know that you deserve love, all right? Let go, because you are the star out here. You got these alchemist ways. Start listening to your intuition, okay? Because it's nudging you. There is no new beginnings here. It's nudging you to let you know that you are the star, Aries. Let go of this past negative hurt right here, or let go of this negativity. Yeah, and start seeing the red flags. Because these new beginners ain't coming with you. And your intuition is telling you that. And that's why you're blocking. That's why the communication is blocked. You're not optimistic about this situation anymore, okay? Yeah. You're not. No. And this person is feeling hurt. Or you're feeling hurt. You're not paying attention. You want to put your all into this. And it's not, it's not coming to light. Or they want you to put your all into this. And it's not coming to light. Okay? Yeah. Because you realize that I deserve love. They want you to retreat. But no. No, no, no. You're not open to the new ideas with this person. No, you're not. And so you came in the reverse. There's no, there's no, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, child, they're trying to block my throat, my throat shock. Yeah, there's no new beginnings out here with you. Yeah, I'm done sharing all this uh, manifestation, my ideas, everything. I'm trying to manifest this love in, but it's, it's not working. I'm really trying. I'm tired of the yelling, the screaming, the fighting. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. 
Nope, not doing it anymore. Nope, because I'm the star out here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Tired of feeling unfulfilled. Some of y'all are still feeling unfulfilled and trying to manifest this love to stay around. Uh -huh. Y'all need to let it go. All right, let's clarify this meditation and clearly decide what you want. Okay, so we got three of them. Spirit said to take them. All right. Yeah, this is the Seven of Swords. And this is cautioning you, okay? I feel like this, this, this right here speaks about releasing this energy right here. Okay? This is about releasing this energy right here. Because whoever this person was, they ran off thinking they was having the best of something else out here. They thought they was running off out here and they left you the star behind. Okay? They was out here picking up all these other swords. And I told you they have the nudging. Some of y'all um got into your... um Where is it? Some of y'all got into this... um else right in my hand some of y'all made y'all intuition showed you told you this was coming yeah this person out here they knew that you were the star right and they knew when they was out here running around with everybody else and you're trying to have this retreat energy with them and, and keeping yourself optimistic that these new beginnings are going to come no it wasn't like that it was all in the reverse the whole time this person was out here picking up all these swords and all these other burdens out here and leaving you behind Making you feel like and knowing within themselves that you are the star. Yeah. But so I feel like this person was lacking confidence is what I'm hearing, um, Aries. Yeah, they was intimidated by your stardom. They was intimidated by your intuition. Um, they always tried to keep one over you and didn't want you to see these red flags. But you, you saw it. You saw it for what it was. Yeah. Yeah. You're not into this energy with them anymore. You don't want to. But this is how they're feeling. They're feeling like they regret it. They knew they should have never got up and left this star behind. Yeah. Yeah, now they want to manifest this. Um, they want you to release this negative energy towards them. Yeah, they want you to release this negative energy towards them. This story is unfolding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're no longer in this romantic energy with them. You on your star power. Yeah, because they wanted to take all these other swords out here and run, knowing they had a star the whole time, Aries. And now that, and they didn't even bother to stop to look back. They probably left y'all with the kids, too, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it moving. Yeah, you're in that meditative state. I'm done. And no more. No more. No more. You wanted to run off and leave me out here? Yeah, you thought you had all these material things out here going, and I was the real star over here. Okay? King of Pentacles. And it is in the reverse. And this is about bossing up. I told you this person was out here running around. Meditating, thinking that they had this boss up energy and they had shit under control. Yeah. Had you thinking that it was going to happen, but you start seeing it for what it was. This person was a fraud. Yeah. This person was about, they weren't about nothing. Yeah. Living as if they were winning already. Reverse. So whatever this person ran off to, Aries, they lost. They're not that king of pentacles. They're feeling reverse. They lost all this money. They thought they had the foresight to see everything. When truly you were to start out here seeing everything. Yeah. You were the real star out here. They thought they was going after this King of Pentacles energy, running off, leaving you, hurting you. Yeah. Now they're sorry. Now they want to have this new start with you and you ain't having a new start. Yeah. And you're moving on because there's a new love out here. There's a new love out here. And they, this new love wants you to know it's safe to love them. Or this, this new love out here is you, um, Aries. Yeah. You're the star out here. This person was running off with everything else and everyone else and thinking they was going to gain all this out here, thinking they was the boss, the king, bossing up, showing off, acting like they the shit. Nope. You the star. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye. Yep. That's why. That's why you were feeling unfulfilled. Because they were too busy over here doing everything else. Okay. That's why you were feeling unfulfilled. Yeah, that's why you and you were longing for these changes. And now you made them changes. You got into this meditative state for some of y'all. Yeah. Got into this meditative state. Yeah. Because you the star out here. Whoever this person is, they ran off thinking they was going to have it all with somebody else. Didn't we almost have it all? That's what I'm hearing, honey. Almost. But I took them blindfolds off. And some of y'all still need to take these blindfolds off is what I'm hearing. I found my answers. Yeah, because I very soon I'm not making any clear decisions with you because why? This is what they want you to do. Make a clear decision, but you already seen it. Yeah, you already seen it. You're not doing it. Yeah, here they are with that page of cups. 
learning how to nurture oneself and your intuition um awakening exploring new opportunities yes that's what you're doing out here you turn this person back like get on over there with your reverse king stuff you ain't about nothing you thought you was going out here to somebody else with all these swords and making me feel unfulfilled well guess what i'm gonna take this confidence in my own hand and i'm gonna love me yeah i am i'm going to love me all right let's get some clarification out here overall for the healing of my aries what chakras is my Aries in right now? Healing. What is the clear wisdom message? Yeah, you, you, this person over here thought that, they, yeah, they now they want to see you as the new love. They want this new beginning. They want you to feel like it's safe to love them out here. Yeah, let's retreat. Let's start over this new love. Yeah. But even though they was trying to hide secrets out here, running off out here with all these all these other options out here and these swords and, 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 and rushing off and leaving you behind. Yeah. And making you feel unfulfilled. And you were like, nope, I'm done. No more. I'm taking these new opportunities with myself. I'm loving it. I have these, I have the confidence now to step out. I'm tapping into my intuition. Yeah. You're no longer having me in this, in this reverse energy. Cause I know I can go out here and get this bread myself. I meditated on it and I know I'm waiting because the good Lord got something new coming in my life. And that's that self-love. And when you begin to love yourself, new love will come in. Okay? This is one with all. I can't make it up. What did I just say? I can't make this up. Learning how to nurture oneself. Intuition. Awakening. That's what it means. And this is the seventh chakra. This is your crown chakra. You've seen everything for what it was. Yeah, you're in that meditative energy. What did I say? That's that crown. That throat chakra. You expressed that. And it says... One with all, I feel the divine force flowing through me. I honor this and I know that this, it is, and I honor this and I know that it flows through me. Yes, you gained that confidence to some of y'all, okay? You walked away, yes. I regularly, I am calm in knowing that I am one with all and I contemplate and meditate on facts. What did I just say? I can't make it up. I regularly remind myself that we are all from the same source and that we are all on a journey as spiritual beings experiencing the physical existence. I am aware that I have a, I have a choice as to how I respond to what is happening in my life. My response have an enormous effect on my spirituality, my spiritual, my mental, emotional, and physical well-being, okay? And you're, ho you're owning this energy right here. This is a beautiful right energy right here, okay? Some of y'all need to tap into this crown chakra out here. Yeah, tap into it and release it. And some of y'all have released it, okay? You have released this negative energy and you're pouring into yourself. You're tapping into this meditative energy. You're in that crown chakra, definitely for sure. Give me one more chakra. Yes, give me one more. One more for my Aries. Yeah, you let this person know I'm done. They, they want you to forgive them. They want you to retreat with them. And for some of y'all, y'all need to pay attention to the red flags out here. Yeah, because this, this love that you want to manifest back in with this person, it's not, it's not worth it. Courage and faith. I, and this is all about the root chakra. And your root chakra is all about um, your personal growth. It, it's about connecting to the earthly survival instincts. Okay, so some of y'all did... Uh, walk away from this okay you're you're pouring into your own your own cup you're, you're taking that leap and doing you yeah and you know that you are me you are definitely meditating on all this energy out here and you're feeling grounded okay in this decision courage and faith yes courage and faith you are taking the leap of faith you are grounded okay you are confident out here for some of y'all, okay? It says, courage and faith. I embrace courage, faith, and adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fears, yes, of change or the future. I regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I am the creator of my own destiny. I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a warrior. I am, I am not a victim. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I am ready and eager to move forward what did i just say what did i just say you're learning how to, to to nurture yourself you're taking this awakening and these lessons that you learned for some of y'all y'all definitely are, are finding this new love for yourself and from someone else coming in i'm hearing okay you definitely contemplated on this and you are bringing this oneness into yourself and this courage and this faith with this meditative state yes you have definitely blocked this person y'all have found the answers in yourself 
Yes, you have. You realize that you deserve love and you've taken these eight of swords and called justice on this situation because you realize you are the star. Okay? And you're no longer in this optimistic energy with this person. Okay? You have definitely blocked this person. And for some of y'all, y'all need to get out of these energies. Start seeing things for what it is. Pay attention to the red flags because these romantic feelings that you're trying to gain from this person or rebuild with this person, it is time to let it go okay and pour into yourself and start seeing the new beginnings for what it is okay all right my beautiful aries this year reading if you would love a personal reading go ahead and book me at www.livinginpersonal.style okay and i wish y'all love and light bye